I became sick in 2014. Um, after going for a lot of tests, then we found out that I had arthritis. And then it got to the stage where I wasn't coming out of bed. I went back after so many weeks and said, no, there's something wrong because this is not me. Um, and then that's when I was referred. Well, it made a lot of difference, really. Um, uh, my pep worker that came, she sort of like spoke to me about everything that, you know, pep does. And in the end, um, started off at a group and it was all right. And I went back. Um, it was sort of like constant really because every time I went to a group she was coming back to my home after so many weeks signed me off because I've now found the path where to go and where to look. I was very depressed, I had a, something happened in my life where I got really down. Uh, I'd never heard of PET before but the doctor got me in touch with them and then when I met Mandy who was my PET lady she told me about some of the services that she could put me in touch with. It's one thing that I've always enjoyed. I used to have allotments and that obviously I had to give them up. So to me, it was a, a step back into something I enjoyed. The groups, well, you can sit there or not talk if you don't want to. You can talk if you want to, there's no pressure. Plus, if you listen to somebody else, you can get ideas off them and think to yourself later, well, yeah, I might try that or I might follow that up. Well, a, f a few years ago, um, I, after I, w I was assaulted and I ended up with a period where I was very depressed and very anxious and I had a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, as a consequence of that, I wasn't able to go back to work and I sort of everybody's lives moved on and mine didn't. I became very isolated at home. It was through talking with my GP, Dr Duvenage, that she you know, helped me look at ways, in the limited time she had, things I could get involved with. But my big problem was about actually going out and feeling safe. And that's when she said to me, there's this new service called Connect for Health. I think you'll, you know, you'll do really well with this because they'll be able to let you know what I can't. And so the initial appointment that was, um, Julie was able to offer me was actually in the doctor's surgery. And if it hadn't been, then I wouldn't have been able to actually you know, to come and meet with her and talk to her and, and make that first link into the service. Um, and from that, we arranged to meet here and drew up the care plan. The big difference to me is the fact that uh, my stumbling block was I knew what to do and I could do it in terms of, you know, what was, if you like, learnt in a therapy environment. But the actual step of doing it completely on my own it was too big. I needed something in between. I needed, I basically, I needed somebody to walk that path with me, and literally walk that path with me to say, you know, if I was about to join something new, or if I was about to go somewhere new, I can, you know, I can meet you there. It's that bridging step that gets missed out. I mean, one thing that is different is I spend less time with my, my doctors because I don't need it as much because if I have moments where things are getting more difficult, I'm more able to cope with it myself by doing something normal like going out into the sunshine and getting a cup of coffee in the local cafe rather than going to my doctor and going, I'm frightened, I'm getting depressed again, you know, it's happening again, I can't cope with this.